As a matter of interest, who outside our small circle of friends have you ever revealed your real self to? I like a martini, said Mabel, but I've learned to take two at the most. For with three, I'm under the table, and with four, I'm under my host. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Elliot. You must be Mrs. Thomas, of MI5 fame. How did you and Phil be first mate? I first met him in 1940, the first night of the Blitz. Kim Philby. We were at war with Germany, and Kim happened to be one of the most effective espionage minds in that fight. Forgive me for being immodest when I say I am a gifted intelligence man. Surveillance, sabotage, espionage can at times be intoxicating. But where the thrill of fooling your enemy might be enough for most of us, it is not, it appears, sufficient for Kim. Questions are being asked, Kim. The foreign secretary said in the past you had communist associations. The last time I spoke to a communist was sometime in 1934. He was spying for Russia. He was a communist, and you bloody well missed it. The one kind of chap you'd think the KGB would steer clear of is an out-of-control alcoholic. I'm taking you home. <laughs> Well, one day, when you and I can only afford to trust each other. How many people do you think the Soviets killed based on information they got from Philby? Hundreds, possibly thousands. Russian intelligence services are never to be underestimated. Treason is what I'm accusing you of, to be clear. Even though you've managed to hide your real self for all these years, I know you all the better now. How many times do I have to tell you I am not a traitor? I'm so very sorry.